Good morning, Coach Brown. How are you? Doing well. Doing well. Uh, wet, but but doing well. <laughs> Thanks as always for for joining <laughs> us this morning, uh, Coach. Before we get to uh, questions, um, you know, obviously an open week in terms of not playing on Saturday. You last played um, at LSU, but just your thoughts on the last game against LSU and moving into this game against South Alabama. Well, we're excited. We're excited about the opportunity on Wednesday night. Only only college football game on an entire country. Uh, rivalry game for us. This is this is as big a game for uh, as we play all year. Um, I think both student bodies have done a tremendous job of making this uh, a true rivalry game. We've got the, the battle for the belt with the with the trophy, and it, I think it's a neat that both student government associations, Troy and South Alabama, came up with the idea for the battle of the belt. We have a great crowd here, uh, and it's going to be a really competitive football game. Coach, uh, what stands out to you about the Jaguars as you prepared for this game? I can see them getting better. They, that's what sticks out. I thought last week was was probably their best offensive uh, performance. Um, you know, and they've had some really bad breaks. You know, if you look at the Louisiana Tech uh, and the Idaho game, you know, I think they had at least one pick six called back because of a, a penalty against Idaho. And then I thought they they had a couple of really poor breaks versus Louisiana Tech. They had a chance to win that game in the fourth quarter. I think they're getting better offensively. Uh, Xavier Johnson is a, is a running back that that I've liked I've liked Trent for over two years now. I think he plays. I like the way he runs. He, he does not go down on on his initial. Very seldom has he ever tackled one on one. He's a good kickoff returner as well. Um, the way kid at wide receiver is a matchup issue, and I think both those tight ends that they play give themselves some flexibility. Defensively, um, uh, their defense coordinator Womack does a does a really good job of mixing up his pressures. Um, a lot of lot of lot of man coverage, a lot of, um, and they come up and challenge you. And I think that's what they'll continue to do against us. And in the Reeves kid, I think he's one of the best def- defensive players in our league. And on on the defensive line, I think they probably have the deepest defensive line in our entire league. Coach, what does it mean to have this national showcase of a national audience um, tuning into this rivalry game? Well, I think it puts spotlight on Sunbelt football, which is important. You know, we're uh, this is a league that continues to get better each and every year. I think part of that is because of the administrative support, and I think the other part is because of the coaching has gotten uh, really good in this league. Uh, but this is, I think, it, it shines light on on football in our state. Uh, I think it's an important game for a lot of reasons. Um, and it's really important for us because we get it. We get to showcase our campus, and uh, we've got a brand new facility that's that 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 will show up on the uh, on the broadcast all Wednesday night. And that's something that I think is big for recruiting, not only for us but for South Alabama as well. Well, coach, the uh, game against South Alabama, obviously, offensively, you got a number of things going against LSU. Against their defense, what really is what poses problems for your offense as you prepare for this game? Well, just that they they run so many D linemen in and out of the game, and they're, and they're multiple fronts, uh, a lot of different pressure packages. Uh, they challenge you on the outside with man coverage, um, and and I, th- I don't know, like I said, I think they're 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 doing well. If you look at it, they've played some of the top offenses in the country. Oklahoma State arguably is the top offense in the country. Ole Miss has as talented a group as wide receivers as you're going to find. Linehan at at Idaho is as good a quarterback. Um, and Louisiana Tech's one of the best passing offenses in the country. So I think their numbers are a little bit skewed just because of who they played. Uh, but I, you know, I've been watching what they've done on defense for the last two years. I think they give you I think they give you issues. Issues they're hard to prepare for. <laughs> 